Today we will be discussing about fuel cells and hydrogen. So in this video, you will learn about how we can use hydrogen as a fuel in vehicles. So life as we know is fuel from energy from the sun through a process called photosynthesis which uses water and carbon dioxide and releases oxygen into the atmosphere. So when living organisms need energy, they depend directly or indirectly on these plants for their energy or fuel. This process can be mimicked by using electricity for splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen. And this hydrogen can be used as a fuel. So what is a fuel cell? A fuel cell is an electrochemical cell. It converts the chemical energy of a fuel and an oxidizing agent into electricity through a pair of redox reactions. Hydrogen fuel cells or HFCs generate electricity by reduction and oxidation reactions within the cell. They use three main components, a fuel, an oxidant and an electrolyte. HFCs operate like batteries although they require external fuel. Hydrogen fuel cells use hydrogen as a fuel, oxygen as an oxidant, a proton exchange membrane as an electrolyte and emit only water as the byproduct. Now let's see the structure of a fuel cell. The fuel cell consists of an anode, a cathode, a proton exchange membrane and an electrolyte. The fuel usually hydrogen is supplied from the anode side, the oxy oxygen usually from air is supplied as the oxidant in the cathode side and in some cases we use as a catalyst also for speeding up the reactions. The excess fuel will be released through the anode side and the byproduct which is water will be released outside through the cathode side. Now let's discuss the reactions happening inside a fuel cell. In the anode side, we will be supplying hydrogen as the fuel. This hydrogen will split into H plus and E minus, that is protons and electrons. And these protons can cross and move towards the cathode side through the proton exchange membrane. The electrons cannot cross the proton exchange membrane, so an external circuit has to be provided for the passage of these electrons. So, the flow of electrons thus contribute the electric current. In the cathode side, the oxygen we supply together with the protons, electrons combined together and the byproduct is formed which is water. Now, why we need these fuel cells? Why we depend on fuel cells? We know that the world is on a energy crisis. We are facing an energy crisis all over the world and it is expected that by the end of 2050 the global energy demand is to be rise by two to three times. So renewable energy resources will be an alternate source for energy but this renewable energy resources is unavailable in all locations due to geographical conditions. So, the fuel cells will be an alternate source of energy which we can depend on every location. And this calls for optimization of generation of energy through well-known sources, preferably renewable energy for commercial exploitation. Now, let's see the history of fuel cells. So, the researches in fuel cells has been started in the 18th century itself. In 1801, Humphrey Davy described the principle of what was to become a fuel cell. In 1838, Christian Schoenbein published a paper about the reactions in fuel cell. In 1842, William Grove invented gas voltaic battery. That, is the, that was the first prototype of fuel cell and the fuel cells were first known as gas voltaic battery. In 1889, Charles Langer and Ludwig Mohn developed Gross invention and named the fuel cell. 1932, Francis Bacon developed the alkaline fuel cell. In 1959, 
General Electric invented the proton exchange membrane fuel cell. In 1960s, NASA first used fuel cells in space missions. And also, in 1966, General Motors used fuel cell technology in production of the electro van. In 1970s, the oil crisis prompted the development of alternative energy technologies. And in 1990s, the small stationary fuel cells were developed for commercial locations. In 2000, the fuel cells were employed in vehicles. And in 2014, the Toyota introduced the first commercial fuel cell car. That was a history of fuel cells. Now, this is a fuel cell car, that is a car which operate on hydrogen fuel cells. Instead of petrol and diesel, we can use hydrogen as a fuel. It consists of a hydrogen storage tank, a fuel cell stack, a traction motor, a power control unit and a battery. A fuel cell stack is simply but a collection of fuel cells. A collection of fuel cells means if we connect the fuel cells in series, it will form a fuel cell stack. So, the hydrogen storage tank, it is used for storing hydrogen as a fuel in this fuel cell car. Toyota has designed a car which is running on hydrogen fuel cells. The name is Toyota Mirai. This car utilizes or uses hydrogen as the fuel. So, instead of petrol pumps and diesel pumps, we will be having hydrogen fueling stations in the future. So, this can fill hydrogen from the hydrogen fueling stations. Within 2 to 3 minutes, the hydrogen tank can be refueled. So, this saves a lot of time a lot of energy and there will be no carbon emissions from this car. The only byproduct form will be water and only wa water vapor will be coming out from these hydrogen fueled cars. Now this hydrogen can be used in hydrogen fuel cells can be used in many other applications also. Power sources for vehicles such as cars, trucks, buses and even boats and submarines can use these hydrogen fuel cells. Then, this hydrogen fuel cells can be used as power sources for spacecraft, remote weather stations and military technology also. We can also use these hydrogen fuel cells in batteries for electronic equipment such as laptops, smartphones and it can serve as sources for uninterruptible power supplies also. So, these hydrogen fuel cells can be served as an alternate energy resource for future and we, if we use these hydrogen fuel cells very efficiently, we can create a better environment with lesser pollution. That's all for today. Thank you.